This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Discoveries, their physical computing unit, and I'm on the lesson getting properties. Interval. Now we're, now we're using the slider to affect the behavior of the LED. Just as you, we could change the values for frequency and duration of the buzzer, we can change the value for blink or impulse interval of the LED. Cool. All right. Read the code and make a prediction. So I'm going to read through this. Keep in mind, because I'm a teacher, I know this. When you write something and hit run, it will not let you edit what you wrote afterwards. And when you hit run, your answers are submitted to your teacher. I know, because I'm a teacher. So let's think about this carefully. Also, plagiarism is serious. Do not plagiarize my answer. You'll get caught, and it's actually really serious. Do not do that. All right, let's talk about it, though. So... On board event, so on the event of the L button being pressed on the board, this function is going to run. And what's going to happen is we're going to make this variable called interval. And interval is going to be equal to whatever the property interval's value is. Well, what's the property interval? Ah, so whatever value this slider is, it's going to grab that value and say, boom, now equal to the variable interval. Now, LED is going to blink at that interval oh so like at that rate of time i think okay and then oh okay so i'll type out my guess and then talk about it i could clean up the grammar but all right so in the code below once the user presses the left button a variable named interval is created Interval is set to equal the, to the value of the, the slider on the screen is at. So it's set to be equal to whatever the value of the slider is at. Then the LED is set to blink at the rate interval is set to. Let's see. Now I have to hit the L button. Uh-huh. Long. And let's restart it faster cool we got it awesome let's keep going